guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 12. Okay, we are working on organizing the makeup collection today and we're gonna go through face palettes, no sorry, eye palettes and eye products in general. So in case you've missed it, we've gone, we haven't gone through this one yet. This is highlighters and bronzers. I ordered three more of these containers, but they won't be here for a few more days. So we're just gonna skip this section until they come in. And then, oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. Then we'll go over it. So we're skipping this for now, but don't worry. We will figure out this hot mess express from this first drawer. We did go through the blushes together. So this is all my singles and blush palettes. We've gone through face products. Last time you saw the store, there were face palettes in here, but I went ahead and moved them down to the shore. We went over this last time. This is all my face palettes, um, bronzers, blush, highlights. Anything face related is in here. But I think today we're gonna add in some eyeshadow palettes and make this a split of face and eyeshadows. Um, and I think also in this drawer, we're going to add my single eyeshadows and then let me show you what I put in the last drawer. Okay, last night I was curious if I would like my eyeshadow palettes here in this Ikea 5 or if I wanted to keep them on the shelf. And I really like how this looks. Um, so I think I'm going to keep them in here um, and we'll just organize the few that are in here. I have like these bigger ones. So these are the ones I think will go in that drawer above. And then I also have these bigger ones, like the massive Morphe size ones. So I think those will go with the face palettes. And if there's some that we can find to fit in here as well, we will do that. And then I also have like my single eyeshadows that I think I'll put in that face drawer. So that's the plan today and I'll also go one by one and show you what palettes I currently have in my collection. Uh, just more as a collection video. We, uh, we aren't really decluttering this year. There isn't much in my collection I feel a need to declutter. But as we open things up, maybe I might decide one or two things go. But for the most part, this is just going to be a collection video. And if you're new here, I'm Abby. This is my mostly makeup channel, but I also do vlogs doing 14 days of Vlogmas. So we are almost through it, but you can go through and check out all the videos if you're new here. We did basically every category of makeup, makeup organization, weekly makeup baskets, but also we did a few day in my lives, running errands with us, grocery pickup, all those kind of things as well. So my channel has a little bit of both. So thanks for being here, but let's just jump into today's video. Let's switch, put this in the back. These are setting sprays and concealers, but I'm going in my collection item by item, only using like one concealer until it's done, one setting spray until it's done. Um, at least for my liquid products, I'm not really doing that for powder products. Anyways, I thought since there was room in this drawer that we would put in my single eyeshadow. All right, so let me walk you through. We have a couple of melt stacks. They don't make these anymore. I have the Dark Matter stack. Um, then I have the, there's just like a few that are mixed together, but I have like the darker one and the fall one, uh, the rest is what it's called. Kind of broke them up <laughs> so they're just all kind of like this i don't even know if they make the melt stacks anymore or if they have these particular ones but i just think they're such a fun little um item i guess makeup item it's just so unique i have a bunch of pigments i'm not necessarily going to go through all the pigments but we will sit them in here so that maybe i can grab them better I was storing my makeup on the shelf behind me and it was like that for a year or longer and it was really fun. Um, I would say the only downside of it was um, not being able to see all my makeup like at one time because it was all in individual bins. So I am really liking that here I can open up my makeup and see quite a bit of it. eyeshadows 
I don't love that these um, products are with face products, but there's just not enough room in the drawers to put in eyes in all one drawer. So this is just going to work for now, but part of the fun is reorganizing and trying different things. So how it stays today isn't how it will permanently be. It's just how it is today. Okay, single eyeshadows are hard to deal with. Okay, that's everything as far as like my singles go. But then we have like pencil things. There are lip liners in here, eyeliners, that kind of thing. Again, I'm not going to go one by one through that. There's some brow gels in there. Woo! I have these smaller quads, but we'll put those in the bottom drawer. I have some Sephora palettes we'll put in the bottom drawer. Another pencil. Some more smaller palettes. So we'll put those in the bottom drawer. Okay. Just want to make sure I can see everything. Okay, well, that's pretty good. These pencils are just gonna live their best life in here. I am working through pencils as well and brow products and all of that, but I think they're just gonna kind of be tossed in here for now. But that is all like my single eyeshadows, pigments, some glitters, and I feel, feel good about this. So let's move down to the next drawer. Okay. So I did go through all of these palettes already. I didn't go through this one, the Revolution Rose Gold. This is two highlighters that are so pretty. Um, don't know how I necessarily want to organize this. I would like to lean them up like this. Some of them won't fit like that. pretty good so let's put the bigger eyeshadow palettes in so we'll kind of go through them as we put them in this is the ABH Norvina this one is the volume one this is so pretty all these nice purple colors um, just more of a more colorful palette so cute yeah I think I'll put them like this pretty big but I can see what they look like back there all right let's go through the bigger ones first we have the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe this is her first one to be released uh, more neutral with some pops of color in there we'll stick on the Morphe train we have Morphe this is the Boss Mood 35M Morphe eyeshadow palettes are good I don't think they're like 
the best thing on the market but for the price I think they're worth purchasing um, this one has a lot of pretty like fall tones with the greens and the reds and the purples and also more neutral colors um, I also have the Morphe Jeffree Star palette more of a pink tone with some nude colors in it um, okay, that's all I have for Morphe, but then Jeffree Star, I have the Orgy palette, which is more nudes. They're all mattes, so this is a great palette to pair with other palettes. It's been neglected in my collection, but maybe with having the makeup organized like this, we won't neglect it so much. All right. Um, then we have the Revolution the Emily Edit the Wants palette. Looks like this. Just a great kind of everyday color or palette. It has pops of color. It has neutrals. You can really do anything with it. The quality is pretty good as well. Alright. Then we have the Lorac Mega Pro 3. Stunning. I just talked about this in a video the other day, but I wish they continued making those. Oh, I talked about it in my holiday palette shop my stash. This is just an empty Tarte Magnetic palette. We have the Too Faced Natural Lust palette. This one is a pretty neutral, everyday palette. So pretty. I think they have made a couple of those. Um, I just haven't, they're not available anymore. Uh-oh. Uh oh, gotta turn it around. Oh, this is good too because I can see the names. So it's like this. Perfect. Uh, face palettes. Can I slide them back here? Oh, good. Yeah. And then we'll put that there. Love to see it. We have the Natasha Denona, the Star Palette. This one is really pretty. More of a. I guess a smokier eyeshadow palette like you can get some natural everyday looks but you can definitely smoke out and get some darker looks in there as well I've talked about this a lot recently the Violet Voss Pro eyeshadow the Holy Grail pal palette so pretty oh so pretty the quality is really nice um, I recently used that one for a few weeks and I really enjoyed it Juvia's Place this is the Warrior by Juvia's this is another great nude kind of like an everyday type eyeshadow palette all right we have just a couple more we have the beauty bakery breakfast in bed this is a cool tone palette i do like cool tone palettes i don't gravitate towards them but i do think they're pretty give them layla beauty not sure what brand this is but this is more I don't know fall red tone but you do have some neutrals in here um the grown woman palette oh cute 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 we have moods the packaging on this is so pretty um but it is a brighter palette with some um face products in there as well i wonder since this has the face products is it too tall for here yes okay that's fine that's fine we have Ofra. This is a face and eyeshadow palette. This one is good to go. Mini mix palette. What uh, highlighter is that? All of the lights. Okay, I don't have that one. So some pretty bold eyeshadows with some face products. So could be an all in one. Will this fit over here? Love to see it. All right, and then the last one that we have that's of this bigger category or bigger size, Beach cosmetics love in london again another really pretty cool tone eyeshadow palette these are nice these are so nice um so we'll keep that so that is all of my bigger eyeshadow palettes will they look close like that it's kind of tight Ugh, i just wish i could It 
least I can see what's in here. Um, because the drawers don't pull out all the way, but because these palettes are so big, even though half of them are like behind, you can still see what they are, and that's really all all you could ask for. So I like this for now. We have our face palette and then our larger eyeshadow palette. So that's not too bad. Um, we'll go down to all eyeshadow palettes. These are all of my eyeshadow palettes, like I guess the standard size, but then we can pull out these smaller ones. So let's just kind of sit them in here. That's all. My shelf of makeup is empty. It just has containers on it at this moment. So that's pretty exciting. Put the rest of the containers back here. No, you can't see what I'm doing. I'll show you what I get. This is all of my just, I guess, standard eyeshadow palettes. And I think they fit so nicely in here. I rearranged them quite a bit last night. I did have them kind of like shuffled all over then I had them stacked then I put them like this and I just like that you can kind of flip through you can see what they're they are and even back here it's easy to see what they are so let me just go through what palettes I have currently so in the back we have this is the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte I really like this palette Having my makeup in these Ikea 5 again makes me want to do what I used to do where uh, every time we pull makeup, we're going through um, item by item so we get through everything. Um, Persona Identity 2. It's a mix of cool tones and kind of neutral tones in there. We have the Teddy Bear by Butter London. This is a cool tone palette. We have the Tarte Man Eater palette. This has come out in a few versions, but I do think this is really pretty. It's a nice travel palette. Here are all of ColourPop. So we have ColourPop It's My Pleasure, which is a purple palette. Then we have a green one called Just My Luck. Then we have a nude one called Nude Moods. This was inspired by Jasmine from Juicy Jazz. It's one of her favorite. We have the Ornate by ColourPop. Uh, we have the Raw Beauty Chrissy Color Pop Palette, the At Forest Sight, a nice pretty green palette. We have the Element of Surprise. These are some of their older palettes. Double Entendre, nice nude everyday palette. We have the Good Sports. This one's so pretty. Love these tones. This is probably one of the original ones that came out on the side, the um, yes, please palette. This one was out of stock forever. It took so long to get it. The Dream Street by Kathleen Lights. Um, and then that's all of my Color Pop ones. We have the Vizart Dark Matte palette. I was given this and I don't think I still have ever used it because it intimidates me. So I really need to use that. Here are my Urban Decay, some of my singles. So pretty. I really like this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette. Just a lot of pretty shimmer shades that are nice for like inner corner or lid colors. And then we have the Too Faced Salted Caramel. These are cute, 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 cute. They are also be good gifts to give to people because they're often on sale and they always have so much variety in them. Alright, on to the second row. We have the Tarte. This is kind of a face and eyeshadow palette. It's so pretty, like these jewel tones. This one is called um, Busy Gal Goals. The Harian palette by Juvia's Place. That was way com more complicated to say than it should have been. That's really pretty. We have the Natasha Denona Retro palette. So freaking pretty. Easy to use. Love those shimmer shades. Huda Beauty, we have the Mercury Retrograde palette. This one is also so freaking pretty. Those shimmers are awesome. This one, um, the Alamar Cosmetics. This came in a BoxyCharm a long time ago, and it is such a good palette. Still, I think it's a good palette. Fenty Beauty, this is so pretty. I don't think I've used this yet. This is the Moroccan Spice. Yeah, Moroccan Spice. 
Then we have um, Too Faced Semi Sweet OG palette here. We have Revolution Rose Gold Chocolate Bar palette. It's pretty as well. It has some fallout, but the shades on the eyes look really pretty. We have some ABH. We have the Modern Renaissance. This one is so nice. So nice. So is this one, which is the Norvina. It's more of a purple tone, but you got a lot of neutral colors in there as well. Here's another Morphe uh, Times Jaclyn Hill. This is the Ring the Alarm palette. I only purchased one back when these bundles came out, which I'm glad because, you know, everything Jaclyn releases has issues, and those weren't as good as we thought they would be. Um, Ace Beauté palette. This is so freaking pretty. We have another one from Violet Voss. This is the Violet Sunset. I really used this a lot this last summer. It's just so pretty. Really enjoyed it. Love Maybelline Nudes of New York. This is such an underrated palette from the drugstore. Really nice quality. Um, Perfusion Nudes palette. These are also really nice quality and a little bit cheaper than Maybelline, if you can believe that. A couple of the Huda Beauty obsession palettes we have the coral obsessions and then we have the mauve obsessions um actually let me put them over here okay then we have some more little palettes we have elf um these little things are so cute the bite-sized palettes this one is pumpkin spice this is the only one that i own and i think it's such good quality elf uh, this is Golden Goddess. Still simple. So pretty. And then ColourPop. This is Bold and the Aries. Ah, so pretty. They did this, I think, for every horse go sign. Um, but, yeah, okay. Ew. Oh, oh, we have one more. This is Shella, Chella, Hello Beautiful. And it's a little nude palette. Every day super cute all right and then the back i know you can't really see it well i guess you can kind of see it from your point of view but i have all my urban decay palettes back here so we have the born to run so good we have the naked smoky which they don't make anymore love it we have the naked cherry I wasn't going to buy, so the ones I don't have, I wait till they go on sale, and a couple of them were on sale, and I wasn't going to buy them, but now I'm sitting here thinking, like, maybe I should. Urban Decay The Heat. I got the Urban Decay uh, 1, the original, when they were discontinuing it. This was my very first high-end palette, the Urban Decay Naked 3. It's pretty old, but she's holding on strong. Still works just fine. And then the last one I own is the Honey Palette, which is so freaking pretty. Love that one. Alright, and then we have my Lorac palettes. I have three of them. I have the Lorac Pro 4. Airy Red Mauve. I don't know it's more muted it's so nice then there's more of a nude one which is the three so freaking pretty every day you could tell i love it so much this was uh one of my first high-end palettes i think i purchased it maybe a few months after i got the naked three this one um but this is the lorac two which is more cool tone i never purchased the first one because it was kind of dark for me um, but, you know, do they still sell it? I'm sure they still sell it. I just haven't even thought about it, honestly. Then we have one from Buxom, which is Boss Babe Betty. This is a nice, kind of everyday, but a little smokier palette. We have another one from Butter London. This is kind of everyday with a pop of color, Natural Goddess. One of my best friends gave me this, the MAC. This is called Classic Cutie. It's more of a cool tone purple palette. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. 
another friend gave me this i've never even heard of this brand slam beauty but it's a nudes palette and it's pretty good quality so i'm just gonna go ahead and hold on to that then we have um dominique cosmetics palette this is called the i feel like it's like sweater because it looks like sweater material but i don't actually see a name of the palette but it's like these muted matte colors more on the cool tone side and then this is just a mixture like there's a jeffree star cosmetics there's some um makeup geek in here some sephora just random singles and then i have this one that is empty but that is everything that i own as far as eyeshadow palettes with the exception of what's in my weekly makeup basket um i just think they fit so nice in here let me give you an overview of my makeup and also what the shelf is looking like now all right again top drawer we'll go through in a different video blush and, no sorry <laughs> bronzer and highlight we'll do that in the future here are all of my blushes along with blush palettes. Here are face palettes along with the eyeshadow singles. Here's the drawer we did together. Um, face palettes and then the larger eyeshadow palettes. And there is all of the rest of my eyeshadow palettes. Ah, and it's empty. It's empty. Who knows what we'll do with it. That's for a future Abby problem. But thank you guys so much for being here. Oh, it's been fun filming Vlogmas with you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!